Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today I have a New York haul for you guys. If this is the first time you're ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but today we do have a New York City haul. So everything that I bought while I was in New York, if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea that I want to ask you to consider, click and subscribe button and give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys will any further ado, let's get on into the video. So yes, hi, hello everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I just got back from New York. Well, it's been a few days now. We got back last Saturday. So it's been nearly a week. Today's Thursday. As I'm filming this, it's September the 12th and we got back on Saturday, September 7th. So it has been a few days, but I thought that I would show you guys everything that I did pick up while I was in New York in one full sit down video. I've got some clothing pieces. I've got a cute little friend that I want to show you that I'm super excited that I was even able to get. And the thing that I'm, well, I'm excited about all these things, but I also have a Tiffany unboxing to do as well. So I'm super excited. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I will kind of start off with is the little friend that I was talking about because it's very cute. It is a jelly cat. If you know, I do have a few jelly cats in my office. I think that they are so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I love that they're so popular now. But while I was in New York, we did pop by the FAO Schwartz place, which I had no idea was just like a toy company. I saw Lauren from Laura DIY go into this place and she did the Jelly Cats Diner. Now I didn't do the diner because I didn't really care about the pizza, the taco, or the hamburger. It was fine. I just didn't really care about any, any of those and I didn't want to spend a lot of money just to have like the special box and stuff. So I ended up looking around and I found this one and it was actually just sitting on the cashier's like it's not a desk i keep wanting to say desk it's not a desk it's like the cashier place but it was just sitting on there <laughs> oh my god so it's a pumpkin and i'm so excited because it's literally fall and i asked her because i didn't know if this one was for sale i just thought maybe it was on display or something and i said can i buy this pumpkin and she was like oh yeah there should be like some more like out on the floor so i went to go look and i couldn't find any i was like I went to look and I don't think I, I, don't, I didn't find any. And she goes, well, actually this might be the last one. The pumpkin ones end up selling pretty quickly once we put them out. And I did, I got the last one. He's a little pumpkin. I'm so excited about it. They had loads of them there also. They had all kinds of foods and they even had other Halloween ones too. Like the pumpkin was the one that I wanted the most. And I'm so excited because he's just adorable. He's got his little feet and he's got his little stem and He's just been such a buddy in my office and I love him. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show because I feel kind of like lucky in a way that I was even able to get my hands on him because I do know that the pumpkin is pretty popular. So I feel accomplished. Also a little story time while I'm just kind of talking in this video, me, my mom and Raph actually went to the Plaza Hotel. We were just, we wanted to see what it looked like because of like Home Alone, of course. I had never been to the Plaza Hotel, didn't know what it looked like. It's insane. Like I understand why it's over a thousand dollars a night to stay there. It's wild. Maybe one day I'll be able to stay there for like a night or something. It'd be crazy, but it was beautiful inside. But as we were just walking down the street, it was around maybe 6 p.m., 5.30, 6 p.m. I was walking down the street and you know who I see walking my way? Aquaria from RuPaul's Drag Race. I saw her walking out because she was in full drag. She was in full uh, makeup and everything. So she might've been going to see a show or something. I don't know exactly where she was going, but she was with a few other people, which I assume maybe were her security or something. I have no idea. She was kind of walking past me and then I turned because like I knew she looked familiar. I was like, I know who you are, but I can't figure out your name. Like I can't place your name. So I was like, I said to her, are you who I think you are? And she came over, she talked to me for a minute. She was really funny. She was also very sweet. She was kind of just like messing with me a little bit, not in a bad way, but she was like, well, girl, I'll tell you, I'm not RuPaul. And I was like, obviously, you're not RuPaul. And she was like, well, who do you think I am? Like, just off the top of your head, who do you think I am? And I knew who she was. Like, in my head, I knew I was like, that's Aquaria. But I didn't want to say it wrong. I didn't want it to be like Aquarius or Aquarium or something. I don't... 
I know it's not like that, but I wanted to say her name correctly. And like, Lord knows that would happen to me. Like, I know who she is, but I don't want to say her name wrong because that would be super embarrassing. So like, I was over here trying to Google like RuPaul's Drag Race and then I couldn't figure out how to spell Aquaria. So it just wouldn't pull up. And then I was just like, are you Aquaria? And she was like, I am, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, are you really? And she was like, yeah. I was like, can I get a picture? So I will insert the picture that I got with Aquaria. I look like an idiot because I'm just like cheesing. I'm like smiling super big, um, but it's cute. And she was really fun. She was really nice. It was a great experience meeting Aquaria. Can't believe I just met her walking down the streets of New York. And apparently one of the guys that was at our hotel, like that worked at the hotel we were staying at, he said that Aquaria is a, uh, is a New Yorker, so. That's cool, I didn't know that. I'm not sure if she's like a native New Yorker or what, but it was really fun meeting her and I had a great time there. All right, now let's move on to these clothing pieces. So, oh, I totally forgot this is how this was. While I was in New York, there was a pop-up for this brand called Park. I love this brand. I do have a, a few of their crewnecks and I think they are just such nice quality and they're really, really pretty too. So they had a pop-up and let me tell you, we stood in line for so long. I know pop-ups are like a big thing in New York. This is my first ever pop-up. So I didn't really know what I was expecting. I thought it was fine because I have nothing to compare it to, but a lot of other people were like kind of mad at the pop-up. They were like, this is crazy. You know, I guess they, cause they weren't giving us like water or really anything like I don't know I have nothing to compare it to but a lot of people were upset at the pop-up that I was talking to but they were happy once they got their stuff I guess I don't know but I got three things from this pop-up because I just I love this company a lot and this was like New York exclusive stuff the first thing that I got was this right here. And this is the same type of crew neck that I already bought. I bought this kind of crew neck from their 4th of July collection. And so instead of it being just red and white up at the top, it's red, white, and blue. And then the sleeves also have red, white, and blue. And then I think the park color is blue or something, maybe white, I don't know. But it looks very similar to this, but this one is their New York exclusive. So it is gray and kind of like this red. It is red, but it's not like a super primary color red. And this is a bit lighter, like it's, it's crazy, but it is like a bit lighter than just straight up primary color red. So I think it's so, so pretty. And then look, it has an apple on the sleeve because it's the New York exclusive. It's got an apple. I love this. I got this one in a size large, extra large because that is what my other one is in and I love it. And then I think one of my favorite pieces from this pop-up is a mock neck sweater. I never buy mock necks because I don't think about them. I usually only buy hoodies or crew neck sweaters, but this one's a mock neck. Uh, as you can see, it looks like this. It's, a turtleneck is like fully committed. A mock neck is kind of like halfway, but it's really comfy and I'm obsessed with this print. Are you kidding me? Can you see it? And then it has the apple, it has a taxi, and it has the Statue of Liberty. It's so freaking pretty. And again, I got this one in a large, extra large as well. There's nothing on the sleeves because there's just a lot happening on the front, but the sleeves are really, really nice as well. But yeah, I was really between this and the hoodie because the hoodie has the print on the back of the sweater. And then the front of the hoodie is just gray. And I think it's got like a little park logo up here. So I was really in between, but I was like, oh, I really like the, the print, so I'm just gonna get it on the front and get the mock neck. And plus, I don't have any mock necks, so I was like, it'd be fun to have a different style because Lord knows I have like a million hoodies and I don't need any more of those. And then the last thing I got, you can already see, is a pair of denim. I've heard a lot of really good things about Park Denim, but this is part of their fall collection. They have not released this online yet. I was so excited when I saw that they actually had the denim available. This is the barrel jean. I think it's called the horseshoe cut or something. I will have to just show you what it looks like, but it's a kind of a, a darker wash, not super dark, but it's a kind of a basic denim wash, so it is pretty dark. It does have Park on on the back and of course it has two back pockets but if you can tell they kind of go out at the thigh they kind of like go out so I think they're called like barrel jeans or horseshoe jeans something like that but I love the way that these look on me I had to get a size 25 guys I've never been a size 25 at anything <laughs> I'm usually 
in jeans. I'm usually a 27, but these ones ran so big that I had to get a 25, and the 25 fit really well. But yeah, if you can just see, they're they're not bulky, but they just kind of flare out at the hip. I don't know, it's not gonna make any sense. And they're just very flattering. I love them, I think they're great. They're very comfortable as well. They're just really, really nice jeans. And they're like, you can tell they're really good quality. They're very thick. But yeah, those are all my park pieces. And that means we only have one thing left to unbox. So here is my Tiffany box. A little backstory on this. Me and mom did end up getting reservations to the tea at Tiffany's. And I know that is like a super hard thing to get, I guess. I booked it from Resi and they had me put in like a notification because I guess they were full. So I put in my time and date that I wanted to go. And they ended up sending me an email and be like, hey, your slot opened, do you wanna book this? And I booked it so fast, I was like, yes, I need to book it, I want to do that. So we were able to actually go to the Tea at Tiffany's and it was great, it was such a good time. I showed it in my vlog, so if you haven't seen the vlog, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. They gave you like little, they gave you tea, they gave you like little sandwiches and little pastries and stuff. It really reminded me of like British, uh, afternoon tea where they give you the sandwiches and the little the little finger foods and little pastries and it was so 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 good and then right after that I was able to go out and I really wanted to get this piece because you can only get this piece at the flagship Tiffany store because in New York that's the flagship store and you can literally only get it in person you can't order it online you can't get it some other way you have to be in the store at the flagship location in New York so I'm so excited because I wanted this. I have wanted this piece for a long time. So here's the box. It's so pretty. I've never actually got like a Tiffany box this big before. And then when you open it up, just take a guess, comment down below what you think it is, and then let me know if you were correct. Do you see it? I'm trying to like hold it in place because I don't want it to fall, but look oh my goodness they're so beautiful so they are mugs as you can tell so this one over here has the statue of liberty and then on the other side i'm not actually sure what this is the girl at the tiffany store told me but i forgot so if any of you guys know let me know what that is and then over here we've got the brooklyn bridge i believe and then we've got the arch at Madison Square Garden. So pretty. Oh my God. I know I'm just yelling, but I'm so excited because I've really wanted these for a long time and I think they're so pretty. I love the color. I just love it. But yes, you guys, that has been my New York haul. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing that I showed from this haul was. Let me know if you've been to New York. Let me know if you have a trip planned. Let me know if you are planning to go this year or next year. Or just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!